everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I have another book tonight about going out on a boat. We've been reading a lot about boat trips, probably because it's summertime and people go out on boats a lot in the summertime. But this is a silly boat book because it's called Captain Duck. Captain Duck. This is a story about Duck and how he takes the boat out when he's not supposed to and ends up having quite an adventure with his animal friends. We need to find out what happens when the Duck tries to be the captain of the boat. Are you ready to get into another summertime boating book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Captain Duck, written by Jez Allboro. Pop, pop, cough, the spluttering truck. Ah, oh, no more fuel left, quacks, duck. He ran out of gas. It's good I stopped. He used near my friend Goat. He uses fuel in his boat. Duck rap, tap, tap, taps at Goat's back door. Waits a while, then taps one more. Knock, knock, knock. Where's Goat? He's not answering the door. Still no answer, so instead, he sneaks inside a peek inside Goat's shed. Hooray, cries Druck, a stroke of luck, fuel for my thirsty truck. I'll only take a drop or two. Oh, look, there's Frog, where's he off to? Duck has taken the gas to fill up his car, but he sees Frog and wonder where he's going. He's off to take a trip on a boat. Hello, calls Sheep. Hop in, says Goat. There's one last thing I need to bring. Now while I'm gone, don't pull that string, says Goat. They check the map and pack the snack. Then suddenly they hear a quack. Ahoy there, sailors, comes a cry. Is this a boating trip I spy? If there are seas to be explored, Make way! Captain Duck's on board! Oh no, he's untying the boat. Goat told him not to do that, and he jumps in. Let's get going. What's this thing? No! cries Frog. Don't pull that string! Vroom! The engine starts to roar. The engine roars. Frog gives a shout. Oh no! screams Sheep. Frog's falling out. Grab that rope, says Ducks, I'll steer. Throw it out when we get near. Ready, steady, get set, throw. Catch, yells Duck, and here we go. I didn't know Frog could water ski. No, bleeds Sheep, neither did he. I don't think Frog wants to be back there. Oh, please, Duck, please don't go too far. Goat will wonder where we are. I think you'd better stop it now, says Sheep. I can't, yells Duck. I don't know how. Besides, we've only just begun. And Frog is having so much fun. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Frog looks like he's having fun at all. So Captain Duck steers the boat far away from poor old Goat, who finds his can besides a truck. Aha, uh -huh, he says, that naughty duck. Goat figured out what happened. The little boat bobs on and on until the river banks are gone. Pop, 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 pop. Just the engine, pop, pop, pops. And with a final, <coughs> it stops. The stormy waves begin to swell. Sheep says, I don't feel so well. Oh no, they ran out of gas in the boat. Come on, says Duck, we'll row to shore. We, we can't, gasps Frog. There's just one oar. They huddle in the bobbing boat and snuggle close to Sheep's warm coat. Duck seems really happy, but Frog and Sheep, I don't think they are. And there upon the restless deep, three lost friends fall fast asleep. Oh no, they're lost out to sea. Through the night, hour by hour, Goat keeps lookout from his tower. And then at dawn through bleary eyes, upon the boat tide, his boat he spies. Oh no, Goat's found them. 
Sheep calls out, We're sorry, goat. We left you here. We broke your boat. Broken? says goat as Duck tries to hide. Oh no, it just needed fuel inside. That's why I went back for the can I keep spare. I searched through my shed, but the can wasn't there. Wait, says Frog. Duck was holding a can. It was just before our boat trip began. So Duck took the fuel. That's right, Goat says. Now you know why there wasn't enough in the boat. Look, Duck's getting away, Sheep cries. No, he's not, gloats Goat with glint in his eyes. He took the fuel, that silly Duck, but forgot to pour it into his truck. Pop, pop, pop. And Duck is still out of gas. Oh, that crazy Duck! He stopped to get gas for his car, but he got so distracted by the boat, he never put gas in his car. But he did take out the boat that belonged to the goat, and he didn't take the gas along, and they got stuck in the middle of the water. But in the morning, they came floating back, and the goat was there to make everything right. But the duck still doesn't have any gas in his car. How's he gonna get his car to go? He keeps forgetting to put gas in it. What a silly duck. He is silly, but he did take us on quite an adventure when he was pretending to be captain of that boat. I like this book. I like the frog. I like the way the frog was just like flying around and they thought the frog was having so much fun, but the frog didn't look like he was having fun. That was a crazy fun book of something fun that the duck did with his friends. You know what? I love when I get to do things with my friends, but I hope not as crazy as the duck. I'm going to wait and see what adventures I can go on to tomorrow with my friends. But that's tomorrow. Tonight, it's time for all my little ducks to quack off into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And whatever adventure you go on tomorrow, hmm, if you're with mom and dad, tell them to check the gas in the car. You don't want to run out of gas like duck. But when you are out with mom and dad having your adventures, whatever they say, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe like and share. I'll see you soon.